welcome to my channel. I am Tari and I'm a pharmacist. I have a master's in clinical pharmacy and a PharmD. I've been in clinical pharmacy practice for over 11 years now. I worked in the hospital as a hospital pharmacist for over eight years and I did some bit of community pharmacy practice on the side for about five years. I recently landed my dream job as a lecturer in the university. I do a lot of vlogging, I vlog for fun, but this is the first official video I'm going to be putting up on my brand new channel. You know, I've got this passion for communicating and impacting knowledge in the simplest and most understandable form. And that was my motivation to do this video this morning. This video is particularly dedicated to my students and to take them on a course on pharmacy practice. And in a bit to make it more practical, I decided to do this video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you all the different areas of pharmacy practice within the hospital and what services they provide. So come with me as I show you what hospital pharmacy practice is like in Nigeria using the University of Potako Teaching Hospital as a model. I'm also going to be showing you the outstation pharmacy unit that um, serve as annex to the hospital and what they do in all of all these units. So stick around and come with me. Welcome to the University of Port Harcourt Teaching Hospital. This is a 500 bed capacity federal health institution located in River State, Nigeria. The hospital is made up of several medical specialties and all the various healthcare professionals work together to achieve improved patient health outcomes and quality of life. For this video, I'll be focusing on the pharmacy department of the hospital, which operates the decentralized model of practice consisting of 21 satellite pharmacy units. Welcome to CEPO Pharmacy. CEPO stands for Care of Elderly Persons Unit, otherwise known as Geriatric Pharmacy. The geriatric unit care for older people 60 years and above. Geriatrics are a vulnerable population, thus their management is pretty complex and challenging, requiring a multidisciplinary approach. Geriatric pharmacist is therefore tasked with the responsibility of ensuring safe and effective use of medicines in the elderly. They basically apply the knowledge of pharmacodynamics and pharmacokinetics of medicines to optimize therapeutic outcomes for older adults. Collaborate effectively with other members of the healthcare team to provide the best quality of care. They provide medication therapy management, medication reconciliation, motivational interviewing, amongst other advanced clinical pharmacy services. Geriatric pharmacy practice is still a gray area in Nigeria and presents a great opportunity for training and specialization. Next, we're heading to the Bones and Plastic Pharmacy Unit of the hospital. Welcome to the Bones and Plastic Pharmacy. This pharmacy is located in the Bones and Plastic Department and provides services for patients with bones. It also doubles as the pharmacy that serves the hemodialysis unit, which is also located in the building. Pharmacists in this unit provide pharmaceutical care to patients with different degrees of burns from acute to chronic care. They provide medicines for pain management, infusions for fluid and electrolyte loss, amongst other medications. They also provide appropriate dressing, supplies, bandages and related items as well as topical products to relieve the long-term effects that may exist from the injuries such as scar management. Pharmacies here also provide post-discharge therapeutic counseling in form of psychotherapy for patients to help them build and maintain confidence. Up next is the Pediatric Pharmacy Unit. Welcome to Pediatrics Pharmacy. Pediatrics is a specialty that provides health care for infants, children and adolescents from birth up to the age of 18. Pediatric Pharmacy provides services for all patients visiting or admitted into the Pediatrics Department. Pediatrics are a vulnerable group and the roles of pharmacists is crucial to ensuring medication safety. Here, yeah, pediatrics medications are kept and responsibly dispensed. Pharmacists also do some degree of pharmaceutical compounding of syrups, mixtures, ointments, creams and other dosage forms that may be required by their patients. Some children suffer from certain disease conditions such as heart conditions amongst others 
requiring medicines used by adults. Most of such medications are not available in pediatric dosage forms, and so in such situations, the pharmacists prepare extemporaneous preparations for the child. This is the administrative wing of the pharmacy department, and it harbors three satellite pharmacy units. So come with me as I welcome you to the Drug Information and Research Pharmacy Unit. This unit provides relevant and up-to-date drug information to patients, pharmacists, doctors, other healthcare professionals, and the entire public. Individuals can call in to request drug information or clarify concerns related to drug therapy. This unit is also responsible for conducting quality and innovative health service researches and providing data relevant for making evidence-based decisions within the department and the entire hospital. This presents another lucrative career opportunity for pharmacists who may want to specialize in drug information, research, and policy. Wait a minute. Have you subscribed yet? Can you please do that now? Thank you. Okay, so moving forward, up next is Analytical Laboratory and Quality Control Unit. This unit is concerned with different aspects of pharmaceutical drug analysis. The unit helps in assuring quality and also lowers the risk of procuring fake and substandard medicines. We can take, for instance, check if a particular brand of amoxil or amoxicillin 500 mg contains the actual strength of the active ingredient that is 500 mg. So with this unit, we'll be able to make informed decisions as regards our choice of suppliers. So we choose suppliers with the best quality of products. The unit also doubles as a mini production laboratory where some preparations are made such as um, um, hypochlorite, hand sanitizers, methylated spirits, satin creams, ointments and what have you. They are made and supplied within the hospital or outside the hospital. We also have equipment such as the sterilizer, the stealer, the ionizer, the comprehensive drug analyzer, to mention but a few. Pharmacists can also choose to specialize in drug analysis and quality control of medicines. Welcome to the DRA of Bolster Pharmacy. This pharmacy unit is concerned with supply chain and logistic management of pharmaceutical products, including cold chain management of vaccines and other thermolabral commodities. Joe Store Pharmacies is in charge of budget preparations, drug demand forecasting and estimation, supplier selection, negotiation and contracts, the actual purchase, stock holding and lots more. They receive items from suppliers sent out to the active drug store for untoward distribution to all pharmacy units within the hospital. Here, the procurement of drug and commodities are done quarterly through a tender system in compliance with the National Procurement Act. A store pharmacies advertises the list of commodities required with their quantities and all interested companies that are already registered with the hospital participate in an open competitive bidding. Although awards are given to the lowest bidders, other factors such as suppliers' promptliness and reliability, as well as quality, are taken into cognizance. Emergency purchases are made when unprecedented stockouts are called up. This role involves a lot of technicalities and presents yet another lucrative opportunity for pharmacy specialization in supply chain and logistic management. Welcome to the Obstetrics and Gynecology Pharmacy Unit, popularly known as ONG Pharmacy. This pharmacy is situated within the antenatal clinic of the ONG department. The ONG department provides health care to women, pregnant and non-pregnant, with gynecological issues or other related health issues, including fertility and family planning concerns. Not to leave out the PMTCT, that is Prevention from Mother to Child Transmission, a HIV prevention program. Women who are under this program are also cared for in the ONG department. 
The ONG Pharmacy provides services to all patients who visit the ONG clinic. They provide pharmacotherapy management and clinical interventions for these patients while paying particular attention to vulnerable patients like the pregnant women and patients, high-risk patients like those with diabetes in pregnancy or preeclampsia that is hypertension in pregnancy. This presents another interesting area for pharmacist specialization. Welcome to the National Health Insurance Scheme Pharmacy. This pharmacy provides services to patients under the federal government National Health Insurance Scheme, NHIS. The NHIS is aimed to provide easy access to health care for Nigerians. Now, different health management organizations, otherwise known as HMOs, use the University of Protocol Teaching Hospital as a service provider. And the NHIS pharmacy harbors virtually all range of medications and attends to all patients receiving care at any point of the hospital that are, of course, enrolled under the program in any of the um, HMOs that the hospital service. Here, the patients typically pay 10% of the total cost of their medications. Not all medications are covered by the NHIS, and so patients get to pay the full cost of those medications that are not covered. There are many challenges with the NHIS program in Nigeria. Pharmacists in this unit are in a good position to study contemporary issues with the skin. Let's keep up with this conversation. Identify gaps on the comments section. and opportunities for improvement. Time. Pharmacists can build and show competence as strategists in coordination of care and program development and management. This is one of the UPTH annexes. I am so tempted to talk about this unit in this video as many interesting things go on here and not so many persons are aware. Um, but I would rather talk about it plus 10 other pharmacy units in my next video as I would love to draw the curtains at this point. If you are a hospital pharmacist in any part of the world, let me know at the comment section below what part of practice is similar to what you do in your institution and what's different. And if you're a student who is interested in hospital practice, let me know what aspect of hospital practice you'd like to specialize. Let's keep up with the conversation at the comment section. If you've watched up to this point, I hope I've given you value for your time. So please like this video and subscribe to my channel as I'm going to be henceforth bringing you loads of interesting videos. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. This is my baby channel and I'm going to be counting on you, yes you, to help grow it. So your likes, comments, shares and subscription means a lot to me. Thank you and stay fabulous until I meet you again next time on this channel. Bye.